Okay, pause the YouTube. What's up, everybody? So, this is gonna be like the little second spoiler video that I'm gonna be uploading for today. And just, oh, I'm so excited, guys. Y'all have no, I can't even say it. You guys have no idea how exciting this is. Like, the best thing about new Pokemon games is the battling aspect for me, man. There's so many possibilities with all the new move tutors and all the new moves that some Pokemon can learn. If you look on your screen right now, a Toxapex now gets access to knockoff. Let that sink in for a moment. It gets Icy Wind too, guys. Icy Wind, knockoff, uh, Toxapex sounds really annoying. Icy Wind is really nice for the fact that you can lower your opponent's uh, speed by one, and then if they knock you out, you can just bring in something to revenge kill something that would typically be faster than whatever you may bring in, but now it's at minus one speed, so you revenge kill it or force it out and just get a kill with something. I don't I don't know like all the uses for Icy Wind exactly, but knockoff is actually really good on Toxapex if you really think about it. Being able to get rid of items, Toxapex is already one of the most annoying and best Pokemon in the OU tier. If I'm not mistaken, I think uh, Toxapex actually got moved up to S rank, which is the top the top of the crop right there man like that's crazy if you guys if you guys are excited for this hammer arm that like button let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about all these possible new move tutor moves as well i'm gonna be covering uh some of the move tutor moves that i think are actually really really awesome so one actually one really really big thing was that so many like and when i say so many guys i mean so many pokemon like let me find it hold on so many new Pokemon got access to the move Defog. So all of this is probably subject to change because I think things are still being kind of sorted out. But the thing about it is that this is at least like 99% uh, positive or like solid, like set in stone, which is kind of crazy. So yeah, this is a full list of all these new Pokemon that got access to Defog. Some notable ones are Defog, Tornadus, which is actually really awesome. Defog Tornadus Therian, that's insane. Defog Thunderous, which doesn't seem that good. But Landorus, guys, Landorus Therian now has access to the move Defog, which makes it even better than it already was. Also, apparently, Klefki gets Defog. Prankster Defog in itself is amazing. That That's actually kind of absurd hydreigon got access to defog uh again like some of this stuff may be subject to change but like it's almost 99 percent set in stone uh cryogonodes defog is kind of cool um silvali got access to defog which is i think really awesome i really wish that silvali had got stealth rocks there are some new pokemon that got stealth rocks and i want to talk about those because they're seven gen pokemon and i'm actually kind of pretty excited about that but we'll just worry about that for later so superior gets defog as well like their Gliscor with Poison Heal can now have Defog. Let that sink in. That's what I. That's what I saw somebody post, and I'm not sure if it's like if that's like 100% true. But if that is true, Defog Gliscor with Poison Heal is absolutely amazing. That makes Gliscor probably so much better just in general in draft league format. Like I'm so excited to use these new Pokemon and these new moves and draft guys and just in Wi-Fi battles in general too. Like. Oh my Volcarona, Mr. My boy Mr. Murkrow made a good point on Twitter saying that with access to so many new defoggers, that means Stealth Rocks may very well just become non-existent. Like back when Defog was changed in 6th gen, what's the 6th gen? I'm pretty sure it was 6th gen. In 6th gen where it was Defog now being able to get rid of of entry hazards and stuff, that made rocks uh, not really lose anything in value because there was still so many limited stealth rockers, but now there's literally a plethora of brand new Pokemon that get access to defog, which is absurd, guys. Like, I'll leave a link to this list in the description for you guys to check out. Like, there's so many new defog Pokemon. It is crazy. So... Another really big thing I am so happy about is right here, guys, Stealth Rocks. There, there's a few new Pokemon that get access to Stealth Rock, which honestly, they should have learned Stealth Rock by level up move. But as, I, as you can see on your screen, Mudsdale. My boy Mudsdale finally gets access to Stealth Rocks. The only thing that would make Mudsdale slightly better is if it got access to some type of recovery. Like, just the fact that it gets Stealth Rocks in general is really awesome and now kind of makes it 
uh, somewhat useful because Mudsdale literally had nothing going on for it. Like, what did Mudsdale do? It just kind of stood there and took hits and then just died. That That's really it. But with it having access to Stealth Rocks, this thing can now be of some utility use for your team in regular battles or in draft league. This thing now becomes a much more valuable lower tier ground type just because it gets access to Stealth Rocks, which is awesome. Although, with all the new defoggers around, it may kind of affect Mudsdale being drafted. I don't know. I wonder, I really wonder how it'll, it'll be. Um, another really cool Stealth Rocker, and this is something I didn't see coming personally, and that is Palosan. Palosan getting access to Stealth Rocks is actually pretty cool because it's... It does have access to a form of recovery. It does get access to a form of recovery, which is pretty interesting. Uh, I don't think Paliosan is exactly the best Pokemon around, but much like Mudsdale, this kind of makes it a little bit more valuable because it gets access to Stealth Rocks. Also, as you can see, it learns Trick, which is kind of cool. Like, I don't know if anybody would really run like a, a choice specs uh, Mudsdale with Trick or, I mean, not Mudsdale, but Palio Sand with Trick or something along those lines. Giga Drain is actually kind of cool. It allows you to hit those uh, pesky water types, although I still believe water compaction should make you immune to water type moves. Like, that would just make uh, Palio Sand so much better, like insanely better like you, you guys have no idea how much better that would make Palio Sand being just purely immune to water type moves would be really really awesome so let's take a look at another notable stealth rocker and this is one that really surprised me and that is not Minior actually I think Minior got stealth rocks wait did it get stealth rocks I don't know but Minior gets stealth rocks kind of but it is Kamoa yeah, for, for some reason, Kamoa gets Stealth Rocks, and that's literally something I did not see coming. Actually, a cool thing about Kamoa is that it actually learns close combat now by level up, which is insane. Kamoa was honestly missing a really hard-hitting fighting type move. Yeah, like, Sky Uppercut was okay, like, Drain Punch maybe wasn't that bad, like, yeah. But realistically, they weren't the best fighting moves that, um... Kamo could have really run to be uh, aggressive with. It gets Water Pulse too. That's kind of cool, I guess. Uh, Dragon Pulse, obviously, you already got that. Ice Punch, Fire Punch, and Thunder Punch on Kamo. Fire Punch is actually really, really awesome. That is actually pretty awesome. If it just got Fire Punch and no Close Combat, I still think that would have been pretty solid on Kamo's part. And oh, yeah, back to the Defog thing. Tapu Koko, guys. Tapu Koko now gets Defog. If you thought you saw an insane amount of Tapu Kokos now, the fact that Tapu Koko gets Defog in general makes it so much better in Draft League format as well because realistically, Tapu Koko does have some very good natural bulk, so it can always tank at least one hit most of the time. That's not absurdly strong. So it can uh, potentially get rid of hazards for something that's waiting in the back. Tapu, Tapu Lele, I don't think really got anything good here, did it? No, I know Tapu Fini. Tapu Fini actually got access to knockoff and icy wind, icy wind, which I'm personally pretty happy about. Trick is also kind of cool, like specs. Tapu Fini with Trick could maybe be a cool little tech thing. I'm upset that Tapu Bulu really didn't get anything good, like synthesis. I guess that's okay. It's not. It's not really that, it's not really that well, it's not really that cool. Uh, also from what I heard, where is Incineroar? Incineroar apparently got access to knockoff as well, which is actually pretty awesome because Incineroar was missing a reliable dark stab move. The only thing that would make Incineroar a little bit better is if its hidden ability was finally released. I don't think any of the other starters. Uh, got any good new mood tutor moves if I'm not mistaken one huge thing that I was really disappointed by was the fact that Celesteela Unfortunately did not get any solid um, Coverage moves or any solid mood tutor moves like 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 see like what, what is this like iron head? I guess it's fine. I mean you have heavy slam. So what's the point? Uh, Magnet rise. That's what I wanted Magnet rise Celesteela. Thanks. Thanks game freak uh, superpower, I guess, is kind of cool if you go like a physical set. I'd actually, yeah, superpower doesn't seem entirely too bad, but I mean, it gets access to flamethrower and fire blast already, so I don't, I don't see how useful that would really be. Actually, some notable move tutor moves that that I saw here that I was, I was sent, or just interesting moves in general. Um, 
our Zangoose now gets access to Extreme Speed. I'm not sure if that is by level up or, or move to their move. Actually, we can check it right here. It may be a level up move. Either way, though. Zangoose, let's see. Uh, Zangoose. No, so I'm guessing it is a level up move. But Zangoose having Extreme Speed is pretty awesome considering the fact that its best form of priority was Quick Attack. And now you can have Toxic Boosted Extreme Speed. If I'm not mistaken, Extreme Speed is actually twice the power of Quick Attack, which is pretty awesome. Uh, Swirlix now gets access to Sticky Web. What? Wait, wait, is Swirlix the one that evolves into Slurpuff? That's actually pretty cool. That's gonna be really awesome in, um, in what's it called? In Draft League, along with Dewpiter and Cutie Fly. All three of them now get access to Sticky Web. And that's kind of insane. Holy crap. Oshawott, Oshawott now can learn, uh, Sacred Sword, which is the physical fighting move that passes through defense boosts and that is kind of absurd because I felt like Samurott really needed a good physical coverage move. I think it does get access to superpower but if you superpower you're lowering your defense and your physical attack by one so that's not really that great. Uh, Empoleon gets access to power trip that's not really that great I suppose. Uh, what are some of the good ones here? Uh, Caracosta gets access to Liquidation. Liquidation is indeed a move tutor move because it's somewhere here on the list. I remember seeing it. So that's actually pretty awesome. I'm not going to lie. Panseer now gets access to Flare Blitz. And something that's actually really awesome is that Decidueye can now learn Shadow Sneak. That means Decidueye can now have a stab form of priority instead of having to rely on Sucker Punch. Although in certain scenarios, Sucker Punch does still come in handy, but the fact that you get stab off of Shadow Sneak is still pretty good in my opinion. And then you don't have to play the mind games with uh, your opponent going or not going for offensive moves. I'm actually really excited about these Sticky Web Mons. Holy crap, that just dawned on me. That's going to be absurd. Oh my lord. Um, Oddish and Hop Hip now get access to Strength Sap along with Bellsprout as well. That's not really all that good. Uh, Serena can now have Power Whip, which is really nice because I think its best physical grass type move was... Uh, was it Trop Kick? Then again, realistically, Trop Kick is still a pretty solid move, I think, if you really think about it. Because you're always forcing your opponent to be at minus one or just consistently lowering their attack and forcing them to play the mind games and whether or not you're going to Trop Kick, maybe U-Turn, Rapid Spin, or Synthesis. Also, back to the whole Defog thing, I think all the Rotom forms now get access to Defog. Rotom Wash with Defog. Rotom Heat <laughs> with Defog. Actually, it's kind of it's kind of funny. I don't know, guys. Like, there's so, there's so much going on here. Hold on. Alright, so some good notable knockoff mons. Uh, Kartana, I think, is actually really cool uh, with it having access to knockoff. That's actually going to make it so much better, I think. Because, yeah, Night Slash is a little stronger, but knockoff, you get that immediate power boost, which means this thing is about to just start claiming even more souls. A Guzzlord gets access to knockoff. That's awesome. Necrozma! Necrozma having knockoff and being able to learn some better move tutor moves, I think is really going to make it more valuable in Draft League. The thing about Necrozma was that it could do so many things. Like, it could be a wall, it could be aggressive, it could be special, it could be physical, it could be a setup sweeper, but it just, it never did anything really good. It was a dra it was a jack of all trades, essentially, that just was kind of lackluster at everything that um, it tried to do, because there was better things out there, but I think with like Heat Wave, it gets Heat Wave, right? Yeah, Heat Wave, like Knock Off. Uh, potentially even uh, shock? No, no, shock wave. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. Maybe not. Dragon Pulse possibly could be cool. Earth Power is actually really awesome as well. There's there were some other really good knockoff mods here. Mars Shadow gets knockoff. That's insane, actually. Holy crap. Uh, Blasifion. Wait, the balloon. My my favorite of the Ultra Beasts here. Oh, Zeraora, the new mythical Pokemon. That actually gets access to knockoff. That actually could make it slightly, slightly better. Again, I'm, I I felt like uh, Zeraora was really lackluster. So I'm hoping that maybe it'll it'll be better than than I honest than I honestly expect it to be. There were some other really good knockoff mons up here. Nyla goes kind of cool. I'm a little upset that Buzzwool doesn't get knockoff. How the this man has giant biceps for arms. How do you not give it knockoff? That doesn't. Doesn't make any sense to me. So Galio gets knockoff. Finny knockoff. That's really awesome, actually. Tapu Bulu getting knockoff would have been pretty cool as well. I, I wish that they, they had maybe given that knockoff. What's here? Delmize. Delmize knocking off items is going to be absurdly annoying considering that it already has some pretty good natural bulk. Kamala would knockoff is pretty cool. Uh, 
Galissapod. I don't really care about Galissapod. I don't think it's a good pawn. Passimian. Passimian is actually something that I was really hoping would get some good, uh, some good move tutor moves. And it gets Gunk Shot, Seed Bomb, Iron Tail, Knock Off, Drain Punch. Holy crap. Passimian may actually be somewhat decent now because the thing about Passimian is that it never really had any good type of coverage moves for it to uh, really abuse or anything along those lines. So hopefully we can see Passimian used a little bit more. Serena with knockoff is always nice. I'm just going through like the 7 gen Pokemon here. Uh, Salazzle's been had knockoff though, so that's not really that surprising. Don't care about Lorantas. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Toxapex. Oh, <laughs> we covered Toxapex at the beginning of the video. Holy crap. So. Yeah, this, this video is kind of running its course, but just, guys, there's so many new possibilities because of these move tutor moves. Let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. Are you guys excited for this? Do you think Defog is now going to just completely get rid of hazards in general? I don't know, man. If that Defog list is true, there's so many Defog Pokemon. Holy crap. And Clefkey with priority Defog? Oh, that in itself sounds kind of crazy. I don't know. Just, just let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And just, yeah, I'll, I'll see you guys tomorrow, most likely. So, later, everybody.